In prophase I, the DNA coils tightly and individual chromosomes become visible under the light microscope. Homologous chromosomes become closely associated in synapsis and they exchange segments by crossing over. By metaphase I, the nuclear membrane has disappeared and the microtubules form a spindle. Spindle fibers attach to only one side of each centromere and the two homologous chromosomes attach to microtubules orienting from opposite poles. Each pair of homologs then lines up on the metaphase plate. Either maternal or paternal homolog may orient toward a given pole. In anaphase one, the microtubules of the spindle fiber shorten and pull the chromosomes toward the poles, taking both sister chromatids with them. Each pole ends up with a complete haploid set of chromosomes consisting of one member of the homologous pair. During telophase one, the nuclear membrane reforms around the daughter nuclei. Each daughter nucleus contains two sister chromatids for each chromosome attached to a common centromere. Because of crossing over, the two sister chromatids are not identical. During prophase II, the nuclear envelope breaks down and a new spindle forms. In metaphase II, spindle fibers bind to both sides of the centromeres. During anaphase II, the spindle fibers contract and the sister chromatids move toward opposite poles. In telophase II, nuclear envelopes reform around the sets of daughter chromosomes.